Hello and welcome to this super sunny spot in Spain. This is an abs and booty workout. It's going to be around 20 minutes and we'll be focusing on slow and controlled movements. When you're ready, come and lie down on your back. Then bend your knees, bring your feet close to the backs of your hips. Rest your arms by your side. Press your feet into the ground. Start to lift your hips, coming into a glute bridge. Squeeze your booty. Press through your heels as you lift. And then slowly lower down with control. Let's go nine more times. Press through your feet, squeeze and lift. And slowly lower down. Keep it going. Keep your breath nice and steady. And bring your awareness to your midsection. So you're drawing your belly button down. So your abdominals are engaged as you lift and lower the hips. Take it five more times. Keep pressing through your heels. Squeeze your booty. Whew. Three more to go. Slow and controlled. There's no need to rush this movement. Last one, Whew. and then lower your hips. Start to walk your feet a little further away. And then this time flex your feet so you're just balancing on your heels. Press the heels into the ground and lift your hips. Squeeze as you lift and then slowly lower with control. Let's go nine more times. So this time we're focusing on the hamstrings as well as the glutes. You should start to feel this down the back of your thighs. Keep it going nice and slow. No need to rush. Five more. Keep your breath steady. That's two. And then one more to go. Slowly lower. This time edge your feet even further away so there's still a slight bend in the knees. Keep your feet flexed, press the heels into the mat, lift your hips, squeeze your booty 10 times. Nice and slow on the way up, controlled on the way down. Keep drawing your navel towards your spine so you're activating your abdominals as well as focusing on the lower body here. I've got five more to go. Four. Three. Whew, two. And last one. Really good. Lower the hips. Walk your feet in close to your hips. This time the whole of your foot is on the mat. Lift your hips and we'll hold it here. See how high you can lift? Now really squeeze your glutes. Keep pressing through your heels so you're using the strength in your legs. Hold it here. Steady your breath. Five more breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Good, exhale, lower down, nice. Come into a tabletop position. So hands and knees, hands shoulders width, knees hips width. And start by extending your left leg and you'll just lift the leg and lower down with control. 10 times, just lifting nice and slow and lower down. Keep your breath nice and steady. So even though we're challenging the body, we can still find a sense of ease within these challenging movements. Two more to go. And last one. Keep the leg up and then you'll just bend the knee and then extend the leg 10 times. Bend and extend. 
bend and extend. No need to go super quick. You can take your time with this. Three, two, and one. Extend the leg, hold it there, and now you'll just pulse 20 times. So just tiny little movements pulsing up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep the leg lifted, bend the knee, flex your foot, and now you'll lift and lower. Tap the knee on the mat and then lift as high as you can and tap the knee back down. Go 10 times. No need to hurry. Keep the breath steady. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the leg up, pulse 10 more times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Lower the knee down. Maybe shimmy side to side, take a little breather. And then we'll move to the second side. So extend and lift your right leg. And then you're just tapping the foot down and lifting 10 times. Tap and lift with control. Slow and steady. Five more to go. Two. And one, keep the leg up and then you'll just bend and extend the knee 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the knee and then you'll pulse 20 times. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Rebend the knee, flex the foot, then tap the knee on the mat and donkey kick lift 10 times. So nice and slow. See how high you can lift. Squeeze your booty as you lift and then tap the knee. Five more to go. Keep your breath nice and steady. Two more, and one pulse, 10 more times. Little movements, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, lower the knee. Moving to your left side now, so keep the knee bent and you'll just open the knee out to the side and then back into the midline. Going 20 times now. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Let the movement come from your leg. We've already done five, 15 to go. That's 10, 10 more to go. Four more, three, two, one. Keep the leg up and you'll pulse here 20 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the knee down, switching sides, lifting your right knee out to the side 20 times and then back in. Take it slowly. Try to enjoy the movement so it feels less of hard work and more that you're just doing something good for your body. 10 more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep the leg up and pulse for 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Amazing. <laughs> Come and lie on your right side. You can support your head with your hands, so it's a little more easy going. And the right leg stays on the mat and the left leg will just lift up and down 10 times. Nice and slow as you lift up and come back down. Whew, four, five, five more to go. Keep your breath steady. Try to relax the rest of your body. Let the legs do the work. Two. And one. Bring the leg down and sweep it forwards. And then you'll just pulse here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweep the leg all the way back. This time this leg stays up, your top leg, and your bottom leg will come up to meet it. So you're just tapping the feet together and then lower the bottom leg down. Ten times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Bend your knees so your knees are in line with your hips. Keep your big toes touching and then you'll open the top knee like a clam and come back down ten times. Slow and controlled. Open and close. Five more to go. Whew. Three, two, one. Slightly different this time. Lift the feet, keep the knees grounded. And then again, you'll lift the top knee open and close for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, whew, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Switch sides. So lying on your left side, stack the legs, support the head, and then you'll just lift your right leg up and down with control. Ten times. No need to rush. You can take it nice and slow. Okay, five more to go. Three, two, and one. Bring the leg down, sweep it forward, and you'll just pulse 10 times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweep the leg all the way back this time. Your top leg will stay up and your bottom leg will come up to meet it for 10 times. Lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Six more to go. Four, three, two, amazing one. Bend both your knees in front of you. So knees are in line with hips. Keep the big toes touching and you'll lift and open out your top knee like a clam. 10 times. Let the rest of your body take a rest. Let the legs do the work. Four more to go. Two and one. Good. Keep the knees grounded, but lift the feet so they tilt up and then you'll open and close that top leg 10 times. Five more to go. Two and one. Whew, good. Come up into a sitting position. So with your knees together, bend in front. And you can use the hands for support to begin on the backs of the knees. Start to sit yourself back. You want to feel your abdominals begin to engage. So you're drawing in your tummy. And then you can clasp your hands in front of you. And we're just twisting to the left and twisting to the right for 20. 
So keep squeezing the legs together. Keep leaning back so your abs are working. Try to focus on slow controlled movements instead of rushing it. You'll build way more strength if you slow things down. 10 more to go. Four, three, two, one, good. Now I want you to sit even further back, reach your arms forwards, relax your shoulders, and we'll just hold it here. Whew. And this one gets pretty shaky pretty quickly, so stay with me. Keep your navel drawing into your spine so abs are engaged. Keep sitting back, challenge yourself. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly roll down to your back. Really good. Bend your knees. And then extend your legs all the way up and flex the feet. Then you can have your hands either side of you and we'll reach the right hand to tap the left toes, lifting up, come down, tap left hand to right toes, lift up and down. And we'll continue like this 20 times. So it's like 10 each side. Inhale as you come down, exhale as you lift up and crunch. We're almost halfway. Keep it going. Keep your low back pressing into the mat. Abs are engaged. Two more each side. Good. And keeping your head and your chest up, reach your arms forwards, lower your right leg down, but keep it hovering off the mat. And then switch, right leg comes up, left leg goes down. Switch. Switch. Keep your breath steady. Keep it going. Don't worry about counting. I'll do that for you. Keep your head and chest lifting. Press your low back into the mats. We have four more to go on each side. You can pick up the pace if you like. Just keep your head and chest up. Last one each side. Whew. Good. Lower your head, lower your shoulders, relax your arms. Keep your legs up for now. Then you can bend your knees. Take a few moments, catch your breath. <laughs> Slow things down a little bit. And for this, you can grip onto the sides of your mat to help you. Then I want you to lift your hips and then slowly extend the legs and lower them down towards the mat. Bend your knees, lift your hips, slowly extend the legs and lower down. Keep it going, bend your knees and lift. Slow on the way down, nice and controlled. We've got seven more to go. So it's like you're coming up into a little shoulder stand and slow on the way down, really working those lower abs. Five more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Stop with your legs at straight, hovering off the mat. And then you'll just scissor the legs out to the side and then cross one on top of the other. Keep the legs really low. So we're really focusing on the lower portion of the abs here. Keep scissoring the legs side to side. Whew, I know it's getting challenging now. Stay with me. Whew, 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend your knees, lower your feet next towards your hips. And then you can interlace the hands behind the back of the head so you cradle your head, point your elbows up towards the ceiling. Starting with an inhale 
As you exhale, lift the head, lift the chest, find a crunching action, draw the low belly down. Inhale as you lower head and chest. Exhale as you lift, get as high as you can and then slowly come down. Eight more to go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slow on the way down. Five more. Go at the pace of your own breath. Prioritize control. Two more. Last one. Good. Slowly lower down. Reach your arms by your side and bring your feet really close to your hips so that you can just about reach for the backs of your heels. And with an inhale, lift your head, lift your chest, and then you're just reaching to the left to tap the foot, reaching to the right to tap your foot. Keep it going. Keep drawing your abs in. Just reaching side to side, working the obliques. Stay with me, just 10 more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Calm down, <laughs> really good. Okay, extend and lift the legs back up. You can keep your right leg up, lower the left leg down, but keep the leg hovering in the air. And reach your arms up. You can interlace the fingers, point your index fingers towards the sky. With an inhale, lift the head, lift the shoulders. As you exhale, twist to the right, reach towards the back of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach to the right and twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Six more. Move with your breath. Keep your head and shoulders up. Four more. Three. Two, one, stay up, switch legs, go straight away. Second side, reaching to the left. Find a little twist. Exhale as you twist, inhale, reach up. Five more. Two, and one, really good. Extend both legs up. You can relax your arms by your side and we'll take a few moments just to start slowing down the breath here. Keep your legs raised. I know they might be shaky, maybe getting a little tired now. We're almost there. We're almost at the end. So now reaching your arms up, are you to tap your toes, lift your head, lift your shoulders and tap and slowly roll down. 10 times lift, tap, slowly down. Really slowing down the movements on the way down. Four more to go. Two and one, amazing. Relax your arms by your side. Let the legs lower down, but keep the feet hovering off the mat. And again, we're just scissoring out to the side and back in, cross one foot over the other out to the side, cross the other foot over the other. Keep it going. We're building a little bit more pace. Final few exercises. Now you're almost done. I know your abs are burning. Mine are too. Stay with me. Keep moving through this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, awesome. Bend your knees, hug them into your chest, then come up and we will finish with a couple of oblique exercises. So focusing on the uh, outsides of your torso. So come into a side plank down on your forearm. Stack the legs and then reach your right arm up. And you'll just dip the hips down and lift up for 10. So dip and lift, slow and controlled. Keep drawing your tummy in really tight. Five more to go. Four, three, two, 
One, we're holding it here. Keep the hips as high as you can. Keep pressing the floor away. Stay with me, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, stay up and roll onto the other side. So moving straight into the other side, dipping the hips down and lifting them up. Going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, hold it here, push the floor away. Keep your abs really tight. Squeeze the legs together, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up into a plank pose, no break. Last push here. And we're just holding this, gaze in between your thumbs. Push the floor away. Holding really strong. Using whatever energy is left in your tank. Stay with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your knees and you are done. Whew. Congratulations, that was not an easy class, but I'm hoping that your abs and your booty are feeling uh, a little bit more challenged. That's definitely what we want. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again next time. Ciao.